Once again, I'm your host, Mark Presley, welcoming you to People's American Stories. This is Interview with Santa, Part 3. And uh, he just said, you, you know, you're, you're just, you're like a Santa Claus. And that's how I got my name. I see. Like that. That's a good name. I like it. Now, has uh, uh, any child ever saw you go down the chimney? You know, <laughs> I remember, I remember one time. I was, I think it was in Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin. I was going down a, a chimney. It was a tight chimney. I, I had to make myself a little bit smaller than usual. And I just came out. I was standing by their tree. When all of a sudden, I turned around, and, and there's a little boy. There's a little boy, probably five years old. And very much like Gabe, your son. And, uh. I couldn't believe it. I says, what are you doing up? He says, are you Santa Claus? I said, well, sure I'm Santa Claus. You're not supposed to be up when I'm in here. This is not right. You're supposed to be sleeping. I see. <laughs> so he was very upset. He started to cry. Don't cry, little boy. Don't have a seat. Have some. Here, here's some milk and cookies that you gave for me. Have some. I share with you. And we talked for about 15 minutes of what he wanted and everything else. He fell asleep. I carried him back up to his room, laid him in the bed, and I sprinkled his whole bed and everything in him with magic fairy dust so that when he wakes up in the morning, it's going to be just like a dream. He will, he will just dream it. And he will never know that he saw Santa Claus for real. But he did. He sure did. <laughs> Wow, that is some story. Yeah, that now, was a good one. Tommy was his name. Yes, Tommy. I'll never forget Tommy. Tommy and <laughs> it, Tommy in, yeah. in Wisconsin. Yeah, he was in Wisconsin. Yes. Now, now, how long ago was that? Oh, that had to be 20, 25, 28 years ago. Ah, uh, so he's an adult now. Oh yeah, but he probably still remembers his dream. I'm sure he does. You know what? He might even hear you talking about him. Uh, <laughs> Right yeah, now. that's true with this modern technology, you know, you know, you know, speaking of modern technology, I've got a lot of technology in my sled now that I didn't have years ago. I got the GPS, you know, I even got an iPod. I, an I iPod? It holds <laughs> yeah. like 2,000 songs, and as I'm going throughout the world to deliver toys, I got these little earplugs and listening to music and all kinds of Christmas music. Wow, I never would have thought that you, Santa oh, has an iPod on his slate. So, so you, oh, you have, yeah, yeah, I love this. I got, I got the little TV screen, and I, I can zero in on different houses throughout the world, see who's sleeping and who's not. See, I start the whole time zone thing, because it's every throughout the world at different times. So I have to begin in the eastern part of the world, like China and Japan, and uh, because when it's daylight in the United States, it's nighttime in China, right. so that's where I start, and I travel all night. So what do you do? Do you, you like, uh, freeze time or something? How does that work? No, 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 it's just the way that the world turns. I see. See? So I, all night I start heading west, and my last stop is Hawaii. So I'm traveling all night, and as the daylight comes up, I'm gone. I'm into somewhere where it's dark, where it's nighttime, and that's how this works. Wow, that is amazing. So you got uh, you, you got this down to a science, don't you? Oh, yes. People say, how can you do it in one day? I do. I do. I believe I could. Yeah. <laughs> or I do. Now, do you have a special shop uh, for the sleigh? How does that work? Like, does it ever break down? Or uh, Obviously, you had some upgrades. Who who does the upgrades on the, oh, on the sleigh? Oh, the elves work on it. In fact, I've got a nice shop. Uh, it's a big, oh, about a 20, about a 20, oh, 20 car garage, I would guess. And, uh, 20 have, sled garage. I actually got two sleighs, and... They're, they're painting them out there now. We keep it nice and warm in there so the paint dries. And they they have the other sleigh, and that one is just a spare for whatever reason if something breaks down. I can use that one, but uh, then they paint it different colors. And, you know, sometimes they don't even tell me. They got a surprise for you, Santa, and I go out there and it's got all kinds of different colors on it this year. Yes, indeed. 
and they have little stickers on all the different states that I've been in, and, and, the, and then of course I got my big book. I kind of keep that with the How good big boys is your... and the good girls and the bad boys and the bad girls, so I know who are to take my coal. If they're bad, they don't get anything. You know, they get the coal. Once again, I'm your host, Mark Presley, right here on People's American Stories. This is part three of four on an interview with Santa. To hear the rest of the story, please go to part four. Thank you.